Hi guys, this is Miss Leslie from the Paul Sawyer Public Library. Thanks so much for joining me today. And our craft from our May the 4th Be With You kit for today is our Space Monster Paper Bag Puppet. So in your big kit, you'll find a Ziploc bag with a brown paper sack like this one, kind of sticking out, kind of peeking out from the bag. Also in that bag are two big googly eyes. Whoops, and you know Miss Leslie, she loves a googly eye some white card stock and some black card stock. And that's how we're gonna put our Space Monster Paper Bag Puppet. Now just know, just because I show you this is how it needs to be done, you can make it any way you want because it is your Space Monster. So create it however you want. And like I always say, anytime you create or craft like that, we love for you to share those pictures with us. So please do. So let's get started. So in your kit, you've you, what you'll need to do is pull out your paper bag. So you're going to turn it where the flap is going to be facing you. So you're going to turn it where you've got a complete back like this and the flap is going to be facing you because that's going to be the mouth of our space monster. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to glue my googly eyes on. Now some of you might have some googly eyes that you have to glue on or some of you might have some of the the stick on googly eyes, the one that have the adhesive already on there. And actually, before we do that, so our space monster has to have teeth. Now, some of the white card stock in there is what we will use for our teeth. Now, you can draw teeth on that white card stock and cut it out, but one of the things that I found is the easiest thing to do when I was drawing my teeth is I took my piece of card stock out and I traced around my googly eyes to create my teeth. Now, like I said, if you've got the ones that already have the sticky on it, no worries. You can draw your own circles for your teeth. You can make really scraggly teeth if you want your monster to be a little bit more scraggly. You can create it however you want, but I needed a little guidance. So I put one of these down on my white cardstock and traced around it. And I traced four circles like you see here. And then what I did after that is to make them a little less uniform, I kind of cut them down a little bit because they'll be a tad too big for your paper bag. They'll hang out a little bit. So you'll probably have to cut them down. But if you don't want to cut them down, that is okay too. It is your space monster, so you create it however you want. So I'm going to cut it down just a hair, and I may need to do it a little more. So now, now we can glue our eyes on. So what I'm going to do... If you've got them that already have the adhesive on there, great. You can go ahead and peel those off the plastic and glue them down or stick them down. If not, you can take them, put a little glue on the back, whether you have a glue stick or liquid glue, and then take the other one. I'm going to put a little dab of glue on there. And I've got craft glue, but if you've got school glue or a glue stick, that's fine too. So I've got my eyes on there, and I'm going to let them dry, but they look just like this, kind of in the center of my paper bag. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a black piece of cardstock out of my bag, and I'm going to take the square piece, because the, these long, thin pieces are going to be for my shoulder strap for my Space Monster, so we don't want to use these. So I'm going to take my square piece, and I'm just going to cut a nose out of there. Now, I did a nice round nose, but you can make a nose any way you want. It is completely up to you. But I just took a little bit of a piece out of there and made my nose. doesn't have to be completely circular. You can make it any way you want. I'm going to stick it right in the middle between those eyes. And then I'm going to take my teeth. Put a little glue on there, whether you've got liquid glue or a glue stick. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my teeth and I'm going to slide them a little ways under the, the lip of that paper bag where my teeth are kind of sticking out. And I'm going to show you what I just did. You want them to stick out a little bit. So you're going to slide them up under the lip like that. And you can color them in. You can do any way you want. Like I said, you can make them look more teeth-like and scraggly, however you want to create it. So I've got my teeth on there. I've got my eyes and my nose. Now my monster, my space monster, has to have a shoulder strap to kind of go around to add a little decoration. So what I did is I've got these, you should have two long pieces in there. You can put one on the front and one on the back. If you just want to do one on the front or one on the back, that is completely okay, but I gave you two. 
And I'm just going to cut a little in where it's kind of pointy on that on either side just to cut a little of that extra off because it'll be a little bit longer than they need to be. And then what I'm going to do now that I've got that, I'm going to glue my shoulder strap on. So Leslie's got to get her glue down here. My little nozzle on my glue bottle doesn't want to work today, so I have to kind of divvy it out a little different. I'm going to glue my shoulder strap down just like you see here. And you can do one just on the front or one on the back or one on the front and one on the back. You have two in there. Now, your shoulder strap needs a little decoration, so just pull out another sheet of your cardstock, your white cardstock, and I'm going to find my sheet here. And I'm just going to cut out some little squares. I'm going to cut out a long strip off of here. And I'm just going to snip some little squares that I'm going to put on my, my little shoulder strap just to give it a little decoration. You can cut out as many as you can fit on there. You can just put one or two on there. It is completely up to you. And you can put some on the front and the back, depending on whether you did a two sides of a shoulder strap. And I will show you what this looks like once I get them glued on there. So then I'm just going to start gluing them down on my... I'm trying to glue two at once there, going a little too fast. I'm just going to start gluing them down on my shoulder strap. And if you just want to, if you want to glue these down and then add a little bit more color and take a crayon or a colored pencil and color that white cardstock in, you can do that. That is completely up to you. This is your monster, so you can do it any way you want. And I'm going to snip a little bit of this end off to make this one fit. And these will glue, these will stick down a little better once they dry and that's how my shoulder strap and you can do one on the back to match it if you'd like you have enough in your kit to be able to do that now i've got my eyes on i've got my nose i've got my teeth and my shoulder strap so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a little fur to my monster so i've got a black magic marker you can use brown you can use different colors whatever you want and i'm just going to kind of go along and make some little marks on my monster to give him a little bit, look like he has a little bit of fur on there. I'm going to do his face too, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished. You can color it in more if you want to. That is completely up to you. So I've added a few marks there. And I've even added a few little marks to my shoulder strap. And there it is. That is your paper bag face monster puppet. So there you go. And like I tell you guys, anytime you create any of the things that we give you in our kits, whether it's for a regular program or our family kit, we love it when you share those photos with us. So that is your Space Monster Paper Bag Puppet from our May the 4th Be With You kit. So thank you guys so much for joining me today and have a great day and a great week. Thanks so much.